Hey everybody and welcome back to five minute quick chats with Brie. With the holiday weekend being here, I wanted to talk about something that kind of goes hand in hand with that and that is the diet eating culture being around holidays. You know, it's it's a really scary time. Um, holidays are filled with people getting together, characterized with lots of food. And so there's this mentality of, you know, am I supposed to be eating a lot? Oh, I can't, I can't eat a lot. It's a holiday. I'm going to be good. Or are people watching what I'm putting on my plate? Are we going to talk about weight and stuff like that if they see what's on my plate and having that last supper mentality, quote unquote. But I'm here to tell you that it does not have to be like that. Give yourself permission to eat during the holidays with that reminder that there is no single meal that is going to make you healthy or not healthy. And just because you have eaten a food that is bad does not mean that your entire day with food is completely ruined. Give yourself that grace and pick up the pieces and start again. Tune into what your body needs. Your body will tell you the nutrients that it needs. So if it needs that the fat proteins in chocolate, eat the chocolate. It's okay. Pay attention to those hunger cues. You will know what it's like to feel that physical hunger. There's that growling in your stomach, that almost raw feeling, the fatigue, everything that comes along with physical hunger. You know what it feels like. So when you feel that, go ahead and eat. When you start to feel full, stop tuning into your hunger cues. It'll go a really long way. That comes from a lot of intuitive eating um, studies. Tuning into that hunger, tuning into those hunger cues. And then lastly, setting those boundaries. A lot of times weight can become a conversation at holiday parties. Allow yourself to set that boundary you know, if that is something that you don't want to talk about, set that boundary and stick to it. And some ways that you can help stick to it, take breaks. If that topic does come up in the conversation, take a break, go into the bathroom, do a few breaths, check in with yourself, do some noodling, whatever you need to. Go outside, you know, quietly and politely excuse yourself step outside, breathe in that fresh air, or find somebody that you can talk to that's your safe person. If you have somebody who you can call or text, then do that. Finding somebody who is not going to have conversations like that with you in that moment because you're keeping those boundaries. And then just knowing that you don't have to subject yourself to those conversations if you don't want to have them. You can do any of those things suggested to set those boundaries and keep them. But I just figured with one of the holiday weekends coming up, it's really important to talk about holiday eating and what that feels like, what that looks like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little snippet of intuitive eating over the holidays. I hope you have a great weekend. Thanks.